Hey guys, so I am going to go ahead and start some seeds. I just went to the mailbox and I um, got my onion seeds. I live in zone 8B. I should have started these probably three weeks ago, but I just got my grow light system set up. You can probably see that glow right there. I just got that set up yesterday. Today is January 10th. And so I am gonna go ahead and get these started. I'm gonna get some leeks started and kale. And I don't think anything else. I have to check my um, grow chart and see what else I can start today. Super excited. So I have um, my storage onions here. And what I'm gonna do is on the back of this package, it says you can plant 10 to 12 seeds in a four to six inch pot place in warm location. Well, these are one inch. So I'm thinking I should probably get out my four inch pots. What do you think? Or should I just plant a few in here? Like four? That's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna plant about four seeds in each one of these pots. I love onion seeds, they're so cool looking. So I am going to put about four seeds in each one of these. I kinda wanted little, little divots, so I'm just sticking this pin and kinda putting little divots in there so I have somewhere for the seed to settle down into. So over here in my growing station I have two trays done of the onions. This whole tray is white slash yellow onions. This tray is red onions and leeks so I have um, two two columns of Patterson two columns of Talon and then this last column is a combination of the two ruby ring and then um, column three one through four cell is Brunswick this is a red storage onion and column four is um, all Brunswick and then I have an entire column of leeks so what I did is I planted about four to five um, seeds per cell and I have my heater going and I'm gonna let this sit until they sprout. I put the lids on and we'll see how it goes. Now that the onions are done, um, I am gonna go ahead and start planting some kale. Um, I decided to plant my kale in these ones. Um, these are just recycled seed trays that I washed and sterilized from seeds I purchased last year and I'm going to fill these up. I have no idea how much kale I'm going to plant or what varieties. Um, I have a couple from MI Gardener. I have Premier Kale and Blue Curl Scotch Kale from MI Gardener and then from Baker Creek I've got Scarlet Blue Curled Scotch and I have this really new one to me. I've never seen or store anything. Um, thousand head kale and see the size of those leaves they're huge I thought I had dinosaur kale I may have used all those seeds last year but we'll see let's see what I plant so what I've got here is one tray of red Russian or Russian red Premier Kale, Blue Curled, and then in here on these two I have Thousand Head Kale and over here I have Scarlet. So I'm going to give them a little rinse, cover them, and put them in the growing area. So I went back and forth whether I was going to plant peas today or not. Um, when I look at my calendar it says that I can plant peas in January inside and then plant them out in February. Last time I tried to plant peas in February outside, uh, the slugs got to them. I live in the Pacific Northwest and there are a lot of slugs. So I'm gonna try this because I bought this huge 
two and a half pound bag of peas and so if I lose a few I think this bag was like eight bucks or something and there are just I mean a lot of seeds in there so what I'm gonna do is I got this all filled and I'm gonna do two seeds per cell and this could be a flop I don't know we'll see how it goes I got these peas planted and I figured I was thinking about it and I was like, I don't know why I wouldn't do this experiment. I didn't want to waste this um, potting the like seed starting mix because it is $5 a bag. Um, and I used about half a bag for this tray and so I was kind of going back and forth. Do I do it? Do I not? Um, but I figured I have this huge bag of peas. I put a 100 peas in this tray and I'm going to experiment. Um, it takes more time and a little bit more effort and money if you're going to start seeds inside than direct plant them, which is what I was um, kind of vacillating in my brain about do I plant these seeds outside, like direct sow them. But I figure I'm going to do this experiment because I don't know which way I'm going to like better. If I don't do it, then I won't know. Um, if I just plant them outside, I won't know if this would have been a better idea. So I got the tray planted. And I'm gonna rinse it down. Let me show you how, what I do next. I bring it over to my sink. And I just turn my water on. And then I get going and I, I like to kind of have it like this. Sorry. And then I, even though the soil is moist, I like to do this because I feel like it kind of settles the seed in place, it settles the soil down, it makes sure everything gets a really good drink. You guys, like I said, I am no expert. This, you guys are just, this is a diary of me doing this. Um, I don't know if I really should be doing this or if this is a proper way, but this is the way that feels right to me, so this is what I'm gonna do today. And then, you know, maybe next time I do something different. So what I do now is after I give it a good drink, I just kind of clean the sides off. Try to keep the dirt in the tray. And then I'm going to take one of these covers that I sanitized. I guess I didn't sterilize it, but I did sanitize all this seed starting equipment. I put this on and then I'll walk it over. I will label this, but I'll walk it over here where I have the rest of my trays already going. And then I just bring it over here, put the cover on it, and I have the heater on and the lights on just to generate a little bit more heat. I know that they haven't sprouted yet, so they don't necessarily need the light yet. Um, this container has a bunch of different kales in it, which they're individually labeled, but I just went ahead and put a label on the outside there. So that's what I have started in January.